everyone? This is Julie Reynolds, AKA Nurse Jar. In this training video, I'll be demonstrating the 2022 Pearson View and Credentia Testable Skill Assist with Use of Bedpan. This skill is performed on a live person. However, for training purposes, I'll be performing this skill on a mannequin. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi, good morning, Mrs. Jones, how are you? Awesome, my name is Julie, I'm your CNA, and today I'll be assisting you with the bedpan, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, before I get started, I just wanna make sure your bed is in a low safe level, and it is. Your bed wheels are locked. I'm going to hand you your call light. There you go, and place it in your hand here, okay? Just press that button if you need me for anything, all right? Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna provide you with privacy by closing your privacy curtain. Mrs. Jones, before I go wash my hands and gather my supplies, is there anything I can do for you? All right, Mrs. Jones, I'll be right back. Washing hands. Now again, for Pearson View and Credentia, your supplies will be located on a centralized table that is somewhere in the testing room. The supplies that you'll need together will be a standard bed pan, okay? A package of wipes or hand wipes. One roll of toilet paper and two pairs of gloves. I have one pair and then let me get another pair, two pairs of gloves, okay? Hi, Mrs. Jones, it's me, Julie, your CNA. I have all of my supplies. I'm just gonna place them on the uh, table here, okay? Now again, for Pearson View and Credentia, the placing of a clean barrier on the overbed table is not a required step. So, you know, you don't want to do any unnecessary additional steps because that will eat up your time, all right? So, I'm not placing any clean barrier because it is not required for Pearson View and Credentia. I've placed my items in the order in which I'm going to have to use them. So I have one pair of gloves, then I have my standard bed pan, my wipes and toilet paper, and then my second pair of gloves. If you're able to do this, this will help you when you organize your supplies on the overbed table in the order in which you, or you're going to use them, it will cue you on what step you need to do next, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves. Your head of bed is already uh, low, so you're already in a supine position. Now there's two ways that you can place the bed pan, okay? And because the skill is performed on a live person, the easiest way would be to um, instruct the person to raise their hips and then you place the bed pan, okay? And that's how I'm going to do it with this mannequin. Or you can actually raise the side rail, turn the person on the side in which you know you raise the side rail and then place the bed pan. The only reason I discourage that method is because it, it eats up a lot of your time, okay? So you have to walk around the bed, raise the side rail, come back, roll the person, you know, place the bed pan, you know, remove your gloves, lower the side, you know, it's just too many unnecessary additional steps. So the easiest and most convenient uh, way and non time consuming way uh, would be just to instruct the person to raise their hips, okay? Now, in order to not to overexpose the person, what you can do is instead of rolling the sheet down and rolling the gown up again, that's taking up a lot of time, you're just going to grasp the top sheet and the gown and you're going to roll it, 
okay like so okay and then you can instruct the person to raise their hips and then you can place the bedpan okay this way it not only um you know prevents you from overexposing the person but um, it also lowers your risk of the top sheet and the gown falling into the, um, into the uh, bedpan, okay? So I'm going to leave this like this, all right, just for now because I'm not working with the live person. I'm working with the mannequin, so I'm going to have to raise the mannequin's hips manually. But I wanted to show you the bedpan, okay? There is no longer a critical element or bolded step for this skill, okay? However, you still need to place the bedpan correctly. So the lower end or the more narrow end should be placing the footboard and your wider end, okay, this is where your butt, the person's butt is gonna be, the wider end should be facing the headboard. You want to make sure that the head of bed is low. All right. So now at this time, you can instruct the person to raise their hips. And once they raise their hips, you can place the bedpan. All right, Mrs. Jones, on the count of three, um, if you could raise your hips for me. One, two, three. Okay. And I'm placing the bedpan. There we go. Awesome. And now I'm going to remove my gloves without contaminating myself immediately dispose of them into the waste bin and then immediately verbalize washing hands mrs jones i'm just going to raise your head of bed now okay and this is just to get you in the most normal position uh, to use the restroom okay all right you still have your call light in your hand Oops, let's see. I'm sorry. I was raising the level of the bed. Let me put the, that back down and raise your head a bit. There we go. <laughs> okay, raising your head a bit. And what I always like to do, because this is a live person, you can always instruct the person, you know, let them know it's okay for them to uh, move around to get comfortable on the bedpan. Okay, there we go. All right, Mrs. Jones, you can move around uh, so you can be, get comfortable on the bedpan, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, so you have your, you still have your call light in your hand. There you go, okay? And here is your toilet paper and your wet wipes. The wet wipes are for you to use uh, when you're done, okay, to clean your hands. Can you reach both of these items? Awesome. Okay, Mrs. Jones, you have your call light. I'm going to go stand behind your privacy curtain to give you some privacy. And when you're done, just ring the bell, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones. So now what I'm going to do is stand completely behind the privacy curtain. Um, at this time, either the person or the NAE will alert you that, you know, it's time for you to go back in. All right. Okay, hi, Mrs. Jones. I heard you ring your bell. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is lower your head of bed, okay? Because I need to have it lowered um, before I remove the bedpan. All right, you doing okay? Awesome. All right, we're going to get this bed lowered. I'm just going to readjust your pillow here. There you go. All right, lower the head of bed. So the last supply item I have are my gloves. So this will, you know, cue me that I need to put my gloves on now. Mrs. Jones, I'm just putting on my gloves. Now the same way that I placed the bedpan, I'm also going to remove it, okay? So again, if you want to turn the person on the side, just make sure you raise that uh, side rail on the opposite side. Uh, you know, before you turn the person, the easiest, most time management uh, way to do this is how I showed you earlier, and I'll show you again. Again, I'm grasping both the top sheet and the gown. I'm rolling it away from me, okay? And because this is a live person, all you have to do is instruct the person to raise his or her hips, 
and then you can remove the bed pan. Because I'm performing this uh, scale for this training video on a mannequin, I'm going to have to actually manually uh, raise the mannequin's hip, okay? But if you're doing it on a live person, you will keep hold of the sheets and the gown when you're placing and removing the bed pan, okay? This will lower the risk of you overexposing the person and also lower the risk of the top sheet and the gown falling into the bedpan. I'm just going to let go of this because I have to manually raise the mannequin's hips. Okay, Mrs. Jones, on the count of three, if you could raise your hips, okay? One, two, three, and I'm going to remove the bedpan. There we go. All right. You want to make sure that it doesn't, uh, the bedpan doesn't tilt or anything like that, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, uh, your bed is still in the low safe position. Bed walls are locked. You still have your call light in your hand. I'm going to, uh, privacy is still maintained. Is there anything else I can do for you before I, I dispose of my supplies? All right, Mrs. Jones, well, you have a good day, okay? All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bed pan, my wipes, and toilet paper, Okay, I'm going to dispose of my wipes and toilet paper into the uh, designated dirty area. I'm going to empty the contents of the bed pan into the toilet. I'm going to rinse the bed pan and I'm going to move away from the sink because I don't want to accidentally empty the rinse into the sink. So y'all saw how I put water in it and I moved away from the sink, just swishing it around. And then I'm going to empty the contents of the uh, bed pan into the toilet. And now I'm going to place the bed pan in the designated dirty area. For Pearson View and Credentia, you do not need to dry the bed pan. You only have to empty in the contents into the toilet and then rinse and then empty the rinse also into the toilet because i've already done my closing procedures now i can go ahead and remove my gloves without contaminating myself immediately dispose of them immediately verbalize washing hands and again you don't want to be quick and saying skill complete you want to, you know, review your steps, what you did, all your actions, uh, just for a few seconds, run through everything you did. Once you feel comfortable and confident that you did everything that you were required to do, now you can, again, verbalize washing hands, skill complete.